I'm Chibos here bringing you another Football Manager 2016 video and today we are in Juventus yet again in Turin and it is time to talk about the Champions League. So the last time I saw you was the Frosinone and CSKA Moscow game. Since then we beat Empoli 1-0 and we beat Atalanta 2-0. So today's game is against FC Porto and then we will play Roma. And then I think the BMG game and the Sampdoria game could be the games to go. But obviously, without further ado, let's get into today's fixture, which sees us take on Porto, which can determine position one and position two in the group stage. So everyone should be all right for fitness, but Digmeyer is unregistered. So Lichtsteiner comes in. Padawin can't start. So Pereira comes in because... Quadrado cannot play, but I'm thinking, do we want to play Pereira on the right-hand side? It's probably a good idea if we do. We'll take these guys off the bench here. Azamoa can play on the left if we want, or Evra. Probably Azamoa is the better option there. Quadrado for Evra, because Quadrado is still injured, so we won't play him. I think, yeah, maybe we'll play Pereira on the right-hand side. That is probably the way to go. Chiellini for Barzagli, Benucci for Casares, and uh, Paul Pogba's got to start obviously for Marquisio, Storaro, for, we'll, we'll play him for Marquisio, there you go, Asmoa, Dybala and Morata with Hernandez, Zaza's there on the bench and obviously Mandzukic is injured, but we'll push on to today's game, the first game of the episode, and let's see if we can do something against FC Porto. And hopefully we can finish on the top of the group. This result will probably determine that. So let's get a result today. First highlight of the game. Casillas plays to mark on. Herrera, Christian Teo, Alex Sandro does make the tackle. Maxi Pereira, Sandro with two tackles. Can he make a third? No. Pereira breaking forward. Abubakar. Finds Brahimi, but Pereira cuts it out. Plays back to Buffon. Buffon, big ball forward. Imbua plays back to Martins. Indy, Marcano. We need to get a tackle in. Casillas on the ball. I still can't get over the fact he's a Porto. It shocks me. Brahimi now cutting across. Abubakar making the challenge. He gets Tallo, but Buffon manages to make the save. And with the resulting corner, I don't expect to see anything Typical FM highlight there. Andre, Andre on the ball. Azamoa collects. Morata running forward. But Marcano cuts it out. So here we are with the next highlight of the game. Marcon, Herbera plays to Brahimi. Now we need to lay a challenge of Bubakar. Again on the ball. Alexandro can't get there that time. Brahimi runs. Pereira was free. He finds a ball in to Herrera. Teo. Oh, lovely save from Buffon. A great clearance there. Now we need to try and push it forward in Bula. Another highlight. Pereira, Makano, Buffon. Save. Maicon can't get there. Buffon are really keeping us in this. And here we go. Pereira on the free kick. Keeling at the front post. Can't find him. Pereira collects again. Beats Pereira. Pereira and Pereira. Crazy. But he hasn't laid the chance. He's been a red card. He's sent off. Wow. They're down to 10 men. We need to capitalize now. That would be the best thing for us. The question is, can we? We'll tell the boys passionately. We we owe them after our last match. We're not going to make any changes at halftime, considering they are now down to 10 men. Looks like they haven't applied a right back, but Marcon is still on, so that's a light. Hard to tell. Maybe if we check their, uh, their tactic. A 4-1-2-1-1, one, one, and they've scored. Oh, they've scored. A Bubakar has scored for them. After half an hour, that is ridiculous. Oh, sorry, not half an hour. After 30 seconds. Here we are. A highlight. Marquisio clears. Brahimi. He gets past two. He puts it over the bar. 66 minutes played. Pereira on the ball now. Can he whip it in? He plays back to Licksteiner. Licksteiner beats one. Beats him again. Beats him three times. Pereira collects the ball. Tries to shoot against Casillas but can't. 
And now we have a corner. Pereira, what are you going to do with this? You need to hurry up, mate. We need to score. Come on, jog on. Jog on, jog on, jog on. Pereira, on the corner now. Come on, we need to score from this, boys. Pereira, what are you going to do with it? Ball in. Abubakar. It's out for a goal kick, and we will make changes while we're here. Storao, Hernanes are going to come on for... Ooh, I'll tell you what, we'll come on for Pereira. We'll play like that. Dabar can go up front, and we'll take off Azamoa, and we will bring on Storaro. So we're going to play a 4-3-1-2 for the rest of the game. 81 minutes played, nothing happening still. We're going to have to bring on Zaza for... Dybala maybe, and Zaza is going to play a complete forward support role. Hopefully Morata can bag one for us in the last 10. 85 minutes, Hernandez on the ball, Chiellini front post, can't get there. Casares scores, Casares makes it one all, and that does give us hope. Surprisingly, there is hope left. 30 seconds left to play. Let's see what happens. I don't think we're going to score. I don't think they're going to score. Alexandro out wide. Can you whip a ball in? Surely he does. Morata can't get there. Lichtsteiner, 10 seconds on the clock. Shoots, it's over. And that is going to be the end of the game. It's a one all draw. But there is still hope going into the last game. As you can see, Moscow can't make it. So we have qualified into the knockout phase. Porto, one point clear. We play against BMG. They play against Moscow, so maybe we can get a result there, and maybe, maybe CSK and Moscow can can make Porto slip up. And as you can see, we have received three hundred and fifty-seven thousand pounds for the for our draw, and we have qualified for the first knockout phase. So a fairly rotated squad against Roma today. Buffon in goal, Evra, Rugani, Barzagli and Deepmeyer the back four. Paloin, Sami Kadira, Lamina and Lichtsteiner make the midfield four. Pereira in the centre attacking midfield position with Simeone Zaza starting up front. Kadira and Zaza are lacking match fitness but uh, what can you expect? They've been, play they, they've been injured. It's about time they've given some first team football and let's see if we can manage to get a result against Roma today. First half of the game, Pereira, two minutes in, Zaza nearly scores at the front post, but not enough. Another highlight, Dietmeyer, Lichsteiner, now, can he beat nine goal on? He can't, nine goal on, gets to Dzeko, but Barzagli intercepts Kadira, Padawin now, out on the left-hand side, cuts in, Kadira, Lamina, what are you going to do, Pereira, Zaza, gets tackled by Castan, but it was clean. Strutman now on the ball, plays to Salah, can we beat him, no we can't, Dzeko now, up front for Roma, shoots and hits the post, Buffon left stranded and manages to clear it wide, another highlight, 22 minutes, Marcon, De Rossi, Nyan Golan, back to Marcon, De Rossi, these three playing close, Strutman now, in the middle of the pitch, finds Jovino, beats Dietmeyer, it doesn't manage to beat Buffon though. 38 minutes on the clock, slowly approaching half time, and Roma are on the ball. Dzeko's up front. He's got plenty of space. We need to lay a challenge somewhere. Dzeko fires it wide. That is terrible. That season, nil all at half time. The deadlock is still not broken. I'll tell the boys I'm happy. They're not happy with that. So let's see if they can turn this around in the second half because that is what we need. 54 minutes on the clock now. Pereira, Lamina, what's he going to do? Plays back to Rudgani, playing across the defence. Now Lichsteiner on the right-hand side. Can he's got one man to beat. Can he? No, he can't. He plays to Lamina, who plays across to Padwin, but a turbo intercepts Padwin. Not very good there. Now Totti, the Roman legend, is running up forward, and that is terrible from him. 66 minutes on the clock. We're going to make a change. Kadir is looking tired. He's on a yellow card. Hernandez, you're going to come on. You need to perform. You don't like playing the ball winning me first, so you can swap with Lamina. That works out well for me. Padwin not having the best game. Playing on the left-hand side. Ever can play there. And Sa no, we'll play Chiellini in the left-hand side. Why not? Why not? 
80 minutes played nearly, nothing still happening. Zaza not performing well, he's coming off. Murata is going to come on, hopefully Murata can bag one. Murata, you're playing the poacher attack, you better get something because we need something now. And I'm going to go attacking fluid, let's see if we can pick something up. We've got 5 minutes left on the clock, 4-3, Falk on the ball, Ever clears, Lichtsteiner can't get there, Struman shoots, hits the post, Ever clear it, thank you. We've got a minute and a half left on the clock, surely something's going to happen from this highlight, Lichtsteiner receives a route one ball, Digne is going to be sent off for two yellow cards, he deserves it, that's what happens when you play bad tackles, and, and you're on a yellow card, you have to be careful there mate, but try and problem, now we need something to happen, Pereira, shoot, ball in, Lamina, can't get there, Hernandez can't get near Golan either. He, oh, Hernandez eventually does. He gets Toddy too. Hernandez, you need to play short, but it's a nil all draw. We've drawn with Roma, and that is not the best result. But it still sees us sit on top. We're still eight points clear. Lazio do have a game in hand, so theoretically we are only at five points clear at the clock at, at the top. But obviously we maintain an unbeaten record. 14 matches in a row without losing. What does that tell you? We are playing exceptional. But that is it for today's episode. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Football Manager 2016 content. I'll catch you guys on another video.